So if you've got a situation like this where your gauge is showing less than one bar, that may be the reason that your boiler's not working. Now this happens when you've bled the radiator. So if you've let any kind of pressure out of the system at all, then this needle will drop here. And what we need to do is put it back up. You can see in the green zone, we're all right in the green zone here. And the red is showing that it's just under two bar. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna repressurize the system, watch that go back up to two bar, and, and then we're gonna stop it. Now, if for any reason it goes out of control and it goes up beyond that, the safety pressure relief valve will open up and let that bit of water out. So it's not horrendous, but it's a good idea if you can just control it and stop it there. So here goes. So what you've got is two valves like this. They might have levers or they might be screwdrivers. So you need to turn that valve around till it's in line with the pipe and then it will be running. You can hear the water running through it. When you do that, you've also got to turn the one on the top as well because it needs to have the two of them open in order for the water to run. And then when you've got enough, stop it off, turn them both off and that's turned off. Now. The regulations say that once these are turned off, you should actually disconnect the hose and leave the hose dangling. So you may find that your hose is dangling there and you have to reconnect it up. But a lot of people, they just leave them connected up all the time. The reason you have to disconnect it is one thing to stop the system from continually pressurizing if there was a slight let by on the valve. But the other reason more importantly is so that you don't get contamination from your central heating system back into your drinking supply. So undoing that hose and leaving it off in between filling exercises is exactly the right thing to do. Don't forget there's a little washer in there by the way. If that drops out on the floor, you'll have a leak. So that's it, once it's up to full pressure, the job is done. Now it's very useful to know how to do that if you're a householder, to locate this filling loop and know how to pressurize your system because it can save you a fortune. Some people have to do it every few weeks, which is not what it should be, but it's some systems just don't seem to hold the pressure. This one is pretty good.